Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on October the 29th, 2020. Wall Street down 3% Dow Jones nears quarter low. U.S. stocks fell on Wednesday as the Dow closed at loss not seen since late July amid a surge in global coronavirus infections and fears of controversy over next week's U.S. presidential election. The self-off accelerated in the final minutes of the session, with the Dow and S&P 500 indexes show their highest daily decline since June the 11th. Twelve U.S. states have set records for the number of COVID-19 hospitalized patients, while Germany and France have announced plans to return restrictions. Tech giants Apple Apple, Alphabet and Facebook, which are due to report results on Thursday, were down 4.6% or more. Together with Microsoft and Amazon.com shares, they exerted the most significant pressure on the S&P 500. The Dow Jones index closed down 3.43% to 26.519.95 points, the S&P 500 index by 3.53% to 3.271.03 points, and the Nasdaq by 3.73% to 11.03. 4.868 points. Samsung and Panasonic report big profit growth. Samsung Electronics Co. Ltd. posted the last quarter of the fourth profit in two years. The company said it expects four-quarter earnings to fall with weak demand for server chips and growing competition in the smartphone sector. Operating income jumped 59% in July-September to 12.35 trillion won, $11 billion. Revenue rose 8% to 66.96 trillion won. Net income jumped 49% to 9.36 trillion won. Meanwhile, Panasonic Corp. reported an 11% increase in second quarter operating profit on Thursday, beating analyst estimates, boosted by solid performance in Tesla Inc.'s battery business. Panasonic, the main battery supplier for Tesla Inc., reported profit of 92.8 billion yen, $886.34 million, for the July through September period, up from 83.9 billion yen a year earlier. Oil prices rise over hurricane after a slide earlier. Oil prices recovered slightly on Thursday after falling 5% during the previous session amid expectations of a decline in U.S. supply due to the hurricane in Louisiana. Futures for Brent crude oil rose 0.13% to $39.17 per barrel. WTI added 0.29% to $37.5 per barrel. The impact of Hurricane Zeta on oil prices is expected to be short-lived due to the rapid growth in production in Libya after the eight-month blockade. U.S. oil in Inventories rose 4.3 million barrels in the week ended October the 23rd to 492.4 million barrels, the Energy Information Administration said Wednesday. Market sentiment has deteriorated amid rising coronavirus cases in Europe and new restrictions that have resulted in less travel by people. OPEC Plus plans to reduce production cuts in January 2021. Visa revenues drop as client solvency falls. Visa Inc. did not reach Wall Street's fourth quarter earnings estimates on Wednesday as high unemployment due to coronavirus-related growth slowdown continued to weigh on consumer spending. The payment processor reported that total expenses were down 10% on an ongoing basis in dollar terms and the number of processed transactions fell 13% from a year earlier. Earlier Wednesday, MasterCard Inc. fell short of earnings expectations and warned that travel-related costs are likely to pose a major bottleneck for the industry until COVID-19. 19 vaccines become widely available. Cross-border traffic fell 47%. In the fourth quarter ended September the 30th, Visa's net income fell to $2.4 billion from $3.03 billion YOY or $1.07 from $1.34 per Class A share. Net revenue fell 17% to $4.8 billion as consumer spending was constrained by the healthcare crisis.